everyone welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode and today we're going to create a very simple poster design using adobe photoshop and we're going to try to achieve that filmic that film print look using dehancer yes it's a very powerful plugin thank you dehancer team for sending that plugin to me and yes i'm always a great fan of that uh, halation that bloom effect and it's really easy to achieve using dehancer so we're going to dive deep into that so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we go in Photoshop and very first thing, let's create an artboard and for that press control and 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 I'm going for a 4x5, let's keep the resolution as 300 color mode to RGB and let's keep everything as default and let's click and create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop our very first image right over here. And uh, let's convert it as a smart object, press Ctrl and T, let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right around here. All right. And then right after that, let's drag and drop another paper cutout PNG. And let's keep everything inside a group. And for that, select all three layer, press Ctrl and G. And let's rename it as a paper cut out. Basically, it has a three layer. So one is the top one, bottom one, and the middle part. And let's press Ctrl and G. Let's squeeze it a little bit. Just like so maybe some more here we go let's add a little rotation and let's keep it right around here and let's move it a little up just like so and let's drag and drop another image so let's see Let's drag and drop this image right over here. And let's keep it inside this layer. Press Ctrl T. And just right click, create clipping max. And let's keep it right around here. And then let's drag and drop another image. Uh, I will say Yep, this one right around here and let's keep it under that layer. Press Ctrl and T. Let's move it right around here. <laughs> All right, and now let's create a solid and let's give it a kind of similar color and let's keep it like that and let's create a layer max and let's go to a brush and with a black color selected let's remove that hard edges just like so and let's add a one more solid on bottom let's give it a kind of similar color just like so and let's add a one more rectangle right over here and let's give it a kind of off-white color just like that and let's keep it under that player image all right and then let's add some basic shapes on AZ. so let's go to pen tool Let's click on that shape. Let's change the fill color to kind of similar color. And let's draw a shape. Alright, and now let's add a one more 
Save right. Around here and let's keep it like that for now. And then if you don't like it, we can we can change it later anytime. And let's do a basic color correction. So select this layer, go to filter and let's go to uh cam let's go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and uh, let's drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows and let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture let's increase the vibrance a little bit and uh, let's drop down the saturation maybe somewhere around around here i think this looks pretty good and uh, let's click let's click on okay uh, let's do the same thing for this one. Select that layer. Let's convert this as a smart object. And then select this layer, go to filter and let's go to... Let's try applying the same camera raw filter. And let's apply the previous setting. And for this one, let's increase the highlights, maybe exposure a little bit. Yep just like so and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this one right click convert to smart object filter let's apply the same camera raw filter and i think this is looking pretty good and just click ok here we go and let's add a uh, overlay on very top so let's add this line overlay on very top Let's change the blending mode to, I think, I'll just go with soft light. Press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's add a little rotation. Here we go. And let's make a copy. Ctrl J, Ctrl T. Let's move it right around here there we go just like so and then uh, let's add like few texts right over here let's keep it under that now let's add a few more texts on bottom so we control G, let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right. Let's add a one more text on very top. So control T. Let's move it a little down. Here we go. Let's change the color to a kind of darker color. Now let's apply a very powerful plugin and it's a dehancer flame. So let's just go to filter. Let's apply the answer and let's apply the answer flame. And this plugin is very powerful. So this is a very powerful plugin and I'm very thankful to the answer team for providing me this plugin. And yes, with just a one click, you can convert your dull looking image into a very cinematic poster. So if you want to get this plugin, please check on the description list below. And if you use that promo code, then you're going to get an extra 10% off on every purchase. Over here, there are a bunch of presets, so just go with whatever look you like. And I like, and for me, I like that look a lot. And let's click on that. And right over here, you can do some more changes. So let's increase the exposure compensation a little bit, just like so. Let's check on that film developer. Let's increase. Let's drop down that contrast boost a little bit and maybe increase a camera correction a little bit yep just like so and let's keep the film compression for that i'll let you include that even the film expand let's not like that let's keep it as default and then the main part is that film grain let's increase let's decrease the grain size a little bit and let's increase the amount just like so here we go and the next part is the heliation and that's the part i like most and 
this is before relation and this is after relation yep it's it's a really nice effect but i want to just decrease a little bit and then let's drop down the amplify a little bit and there's another thing that's called bloom so this is a really nice bloom too let's increase the bloom a little bit and maybe increase the diffusion and amplify a little bit here we go and so this is what i got and let's click on ok and yep this is before and this is after now let's make a copy ctrl j let's go to filter and let's apply blur and let's apply some gaussian blur so let's add a little bit of blur here we go and let's create a layer max let's fill it with black color again go back to brush and with the white color selected let's rebuild some blur right around here i like to add some blur and edges it just helps to blend your image even a little bit on text here we go and let's merge everything let's rename it as an and Gaussian blur and let's merge everything again ctrl shift alt and e and let's add a motion blur a little bit so select this there go to filter and let's go to blur and let's go to motion blur maybe it's too much yep then just a little bit yep like that again let's create a layer max let's fill it with black color and again go back to brush and with the white color selected let's get back more that motion blur in some of your parts so here we go and i like to add some right around here here and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go so this is before and this is after and even with that small subtle change it just changed the look of your design so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative. Bye-bye.